Hello everyone, welcome to Malik 034 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Today is the chapter 4 on listener.ora in our Oracle Database Administration course. In previous session, we saw what is DNS name.ora and uh, what is DNS underscore admin uh, directory. Uh, in fact, uh, any user, I explained this concept, any user uh, try to connect to database, he needs a DNS connection string and it contains database host, port and uh, protocol and then the port number, database name and host name. So all together we can call it as a DNS string. So this user is connected to this database and that connection is called as a session. So the, the connection of this user to the database or any application to the database, the connection should be made using uh, two uh, kind of uh, connection method. One is called a, a dedicated server process and shared server process. I can say uh, one is a dedicated connection and then shared server connection. Uh, if you see in brief uh, you know, connection explanation, uh, uh, there is a user process, user process will uh, pass the connection to the uh, listener and through listener the connection will go to uh, uh, PGA, the program global area and program global area uh, you can see uh, server process. So server process that uh, might be your dedicated server process or shared server process. So once uh, your request is processed and again the result will be given uh, back to uh, shared server process and then why shared server process? Uh, you know the the result will be sent back to the user process and then via user process uh, the result will be displayed to the user so this server process uh, i can say uh, there are two kind of uh, uh, server process one is a dedicated server process and shared server process by default if you don't define any of these two uh, always uh, database will go with a dedicated server process and then if you want to uh, uh, enable your shared server process you have to define it so how to define that one? You have to define it in the TNS name.ora file. Uh, you know, before I go into TNS name.ora file and listener.ora file, I will uh, explain you. Uh, for example, this is a user, assume that this is a user and user try to connect a request and it will go to listener and through listener, it will go to dedicated server. So assuming uh, connection is the dedicated server, default is the dedicated server. And then through de uh, dedicated server, once it connected and direct connection is established to the client and the dedicated server process. Whatever the client request will go, so I'll directly go to dedicated server. From dedicated server, it will go to uh, database, and whatever the database result is fetched, and it will return back to dedicated server. From the dedicated server, you know, result will be displayed to the user. So this is how the process will go. In this is a concept in case of dedicated server. In case of uh, shared server process, instead of dedicated server process, it will go to shared server process, and then inside shared server process, there will be dispatcher will be, uh, you know given to my particular connection and then my connection will directly talk to that dispatcher. I will explain what is shared server and dedicated server in uh, in my next session but right now you can assume default if you don't mention always it is going to be dedicated server process but uh, there, is a two, there are two connection methods one is dedicated and one is shared. So whenever user request will go it will go always it will go to either of one dedicated or shared. So, uh, what what do you mean by listener? Listener is like I can say gatekeeper for my database. Whenever any connection is uh, need to establish to the database, always it has to go to OI listener. So what is the content of listener? So I mentioned here sample listener file. Listener file contains it is similar kind of uh, you know whatever the parameter we used to define at the uh, TNS name that or file. Similarly in listener also we used to mention couple of parameters. One is protocol and other is uh, server and then uh, on which port it is listening protocol and the database uh, host name or database server name and then the port name so i'm going to show you how the listener file my listener file looks like i am at my tns underscore admin directory tns admin directory is nothing but oracle home and network admin so it is a network location where you have your uh, tns name.ora and listener name.ora so if i check listener.ora file Okay, so um, if I look at this uh, listener.ora file, uh, this is what the content is. My listener name and the protocol, host name and then the port on which port it is listening. So this listener should be uh, always up and running. Then only the, the listener will able to take the incoming connections from the client or application side and then you know able to connect to database side. Even though they are passing all the TNS details and uh, connection string, with the username and password, if this listener is down, you know, it will not be able to connect to database. So if I check the status of my listener, either you can do PS-EF grep TNS, it will say is your listener is up and running or not, or else you can do LSN or CTS, LSN or 
then you get a bit nerve. Now it is up and running and it is ready. And then either you can use SRV CTL status listener hyphen L listener name. You can see listener one is running on node one. Then uh, how to check whether it is a uh, uh, dedicated or shared server connection? I said always by default it will be dedicated server connection. And uh, you know if you want to define your shared server connection, you have to define in your TNS entry. I will show you that you have to define that shared equal to shared or shared equal to dedicated. I will show you that one in my TNS name file. That TNS file. So here right connection connection data connection mode I will just show you here I will just click this one shared equal to either shared or it is going to be dedicated this is how you know you need to define whether your connection is going to be shared or dedicated. So how to check at the database level? There is a, this particular SID and server mode from your dollar session. I'll connect to my database. See, these are the SID means connection IDs. And then they are all connected as a dedicated server because it's a default installation. Default installation always is a dedicated server connection. I hope it is clear uh, what is listener.org file. It is a, a listener file where uh, you define your uh, uh, database listener parameters and then you will uh, start the listener which uh, will help for uh, incoming client connection to uh, establish the connection to the database. So uh, the con client connection is always will be in the dedicated server con connection or shared server connection. So dedicated server all dedicated the default always uh, if you don't define it will be dedicated server connection. And then how you define your dedicated and shared connection in the in the TNS name dot ORA file you need to mention shared equal to shared or shared equal to dedicated. And at the database level V dollar session will show you the the particular connection is either shared or dedicated. Thank you guys.